All right, Triple M, midday movement medicine, getting things in, trying to get things organized. Everything seems to be coming together at once, but we're going to try to continue this until we can get some better interaction scheduled. So we're going to do some movements today that are going to lead up to a better couch stretch, I hope. And remember, the couch stretch, the standing pigeon, um, the rocking into the frog stretch, these are, need to be weekly practices. And w, not W-E-A-K, but W-E-E-K. So um, let's start off by just doing a few of the uh, tricep stretch. So take the hand, put it up behind the head, pull the arm over like this. Reach, try to get a little more of getting the hand in between the shoulder blade. Basically, you're trying to think about trying to pull the arm back behind the head. So every time I come up, I'm just getting a little more distance to try to get as much stretch as possible through that hamstring. So, or through the uh, triceps. So I'm rocking the arm back and or the hand back and forth feeling that stretch through that tricep all right let's go to the other side so every time i alleviate and pull my arm up i reach down and push through hopefully you can hear me i doubt you can hear anything because i've probably got the mic all covered up but anyway all right now let's do this way pull the shoulder blades together so I'm coming over the, the top, opposite arm. There. Good. How does that feel? All right. So we've got the upper body a little bit loosened up. Now we're going to go down onto the floor and begin to working, loosening up the hips, the quads, so we can ease into our couch stretch and try to get a little more out of it this time. So let's go down to the floor now and get our rocking frog so we're turning the ankles in don't be scared if the knees pop or realign so then we're going to come forward and then push back spread the knees out a little bit push forward come back spread the knees out a little bit more so now let's go forward rock and rotate push back forward rock and rotate Push back. Let's do two more. Rock and rotate. Push back. Rock and rotate. Push back. Last set. Rock and rotate. Push back. Rock and rotate. Push back. Good. All right. Should be getting a little more distance back and through there. Now trying to open up the hip flexors. Okay. So. Let's go first now to the left side. I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to reach down and grab that left foot. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down and lean back and try to relax and feel that stretch through the front of the quad. So I'm not leaning forward to take the uh, resistance off of the quad. I'm trying to lean back and feel that turn coming through the front of the quad here. Just breathe into it. Now, if you are feeling a tremendous amount of tightness here, just stay here and try to breathe into it. But if you feel like you can continue to move, then you can continue to roll over and move back and forth. Roll over and move back and forth. And that might be too much. You might not be able to do that. But if you can, you can adjust the hand. And see, now I've got, I've got my leg. I'm, I'm, I'm lifting my head up and I'm really pulling into that quad but do not do it if there's an issue but see this way you can kind of 
lean back and push through that hip instead of protecting it when you're standing. You see a lot of people, they'll pull their foot up, but they, they won't fire their glutes through. So my left glute is fired right now, which is making the hip flexors and the quads have to release. Okay, we'll rock through a couple more. Just do what you feel like you can. All right, so let's go now to the other side. So I'm going to reach through with my left hand, grab my right leg, and then test out the other side. Basically, we're just rocking through what we do with the bretzel, except we're really focusing. Now, on this leg, on my right leg, I feel it more when I'm flat on my back turning the other way. With my left leg, I felt it more here. With my right leg, I'm not, I'm not feeling it as much in my quad as I am the top of my foot. So it's different, but we're just gonna roll back and forth. So I'm getting my heel all the way to my glute when I get over here, but that's where I'm really starting to feel it through my quad. So again, if you are tight, tight, tight here, just stay here and breathe. If you can roll with it, great. Don't hold your breath. Just my hand a little bit. Turn all the way over. I'm gonna roll all the way through. Really try to get into that quad. Ah. Okay, good. So now we're gonna roll back over to the side and I'm gonna take my right leg with my right hand and just test out. That's not too bad. Pretty good. Let's try the other side. Left hand with the left leg. Still a little tight through that. One short head of the bicep from Morris, but I always have some tension through there. But I can get my heel to my rear end pretty easily. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll over there. That feels pretty good. Rolling all the way over on that left side, only if you can. Roll through. All right, good. Now let's take the right leg. Felt pretty good the first time. And let's see if we can roll through on it. Yeah. Somebody needs to remember to move that bike. I don't know who. Okay. All right, feels pretty good. All right, so we've got this kind of loosened up. We're gonna do one more of the rocking and then let's jump into our couch stretch and see how we feel. All right, so we'll cross the right leg over the left, reach through, grab the shin, just breathe. Okay, doesn't feel too bad. I'm gonna rock back and forth a couple times. Maybe do some foot motion. Let's see if we can get any alignment. All right, let's try the other side. Still barking at me a little bit on the outside of that quad. So when we get into the couch stretch, I know that's going to be a spot. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Now, I'm going to get one of my parallettes. And I know that you don't have a parallel at home, I'm sure. 
but you could have a, a little pillow or a settee or some little something that you could just put down to be able to lean against. And remember, on the couch stretch, you put a pillow down and then you put your leg up on the couch. This is going to be this is going to be my couch, and then this is the pillow that I have down here, and I'm going to use the parallette in the front to help me to be able to manipulate and maneuver. So let's start with the left leg first. So I'm going to put the left leg up on the couch, bring the knee down, and then I'm just going to drop the hip as far as I can. Breathe out. Yep. That one bicep femoris is tight for sure. So I'm going to drop down and in and turn breathing. It's just nice to have something out front and maybe it's so tight that you just need to stay on the ground. I mean sometimes when you get into these positions you don't realize how tight things are. So I'm getting my heel coming right up by my glute but that is super tight right in there. So I'm just going to breathe and move back and forth. Now if you can't come all the way up, do not force this. If you can't come all the way up, stay on the ground and just drop your hip forward and, and rotate through. Then if you can get up a little bit higher on whatever you've got in front of you to use. But this, this couch stretch is huge to go against sitting. Being able to drop that hip down and through and get those hip flexors to release and get those quads in extension. If you can't do this, if you can't come up and fire the glute, then that's knee problems, lower back problems, all kinds of problems if you can't get those quads to go into extension and that might be a lot of the reason that you have a pelvic tilt in your lumbar is because your hip your hips can't tilt up because your quads are too tight all right that's releasing a little bit but i'm not i'm not going to bore you with you me working on that but at least you got the idea at least two minutes per side we're not going to take two minutes today but uh, on your own, maybe work two minutes per side, all right? I'm going to put that foot back there. Not the greatest way to get into that one. Now, when I put my left leg up, my knee aligned. I heard the, the pop. So that extension that I got through just the stretch of the bicep foremores allowed my leg to align. All right, not quite as bad on my right side. I can pretty much turn all the way through. Bring the left leg up front. Yeah, my right, my right legs, at least in this situation. I mean, there's still tension there, but not, not like there was on the other side. Do a few drop throughs like I did. Okay, I could spend all day working on that. But anyway, take time, work through that. You got to do your couch stretch at least three times a week. You got to get into these areas because this is this is the way we live. Short, everything's short here. The quads are tight. This is short, and we think, oh, my hamstrings. It's my tight hamstrings. No. It's not your tight hamstrings as much as it is your hip flexors and your quads won't let your hips come through. So anyway, I hope that helps, helped me. I'm gonna turn this off and get back to work and uh, see if I can get these to loosen up some more. And I hope this uh, Triple M was an impact on you. Have a great day.